Hey guys, Steve here again. All dirty and dusty in the shop as you as we all love it. Fantastic. Now, as typical, I'm going to have my coffee. Mmm. That's my soy latte now. I'm, I've turned into a vegan, so probably half of you all leave the channel now. <laughs> but you know, man, I've got to be the fattest vegan there is in town. No, I'm giving it a go. Health reasons. Ah, oh, well, when I say health reasons, there's nothing wrong with me, but... I was watching some things on Netflix and I was showing you all the bad things about dairy and, and, and meat and all that sort of stuff. Well, not that I was a, a meat eater rather than chicken and fish anyway, but anyway, that's not today's story. I just want to say hi, I'm having a cup of coffee. Mm. Now, let's get down to it. Now, one of the guys, Greg, said to me, why don't you do a little thing on your um, Conturo? Because obviously they're kind of a bit of a machine that most guys wouldn't have, uh, I guess, due to the cost, because I'm certainly not cheap by any stretch of imagination. But you know, they're fantastic. I'll tell you why. They're really, really good because, you know, you've got the good, you, first of all, I'll get up here and uh, I'll dig out that little box. Uh, let me see. Uh, getting old. Okay. So, get me So, what I've got here. What I got here is a box of the glue. They're like pucks. They're like hockey pucks. They're fantastic. You get them in white, natural, and uh, black. Anyway, I know you're probably you're not, mostly probably aware of them. Anyway, so they they fit into a chamber in here. Well, I'll try and get the camera going over there a little bit. Good. See if I can stretch it out a little bit. No, it's not going to stretch. Okay. So what I got. What I got here is because I'm doing uh, any time I'm really going to use this sort of thing is when I'm doing sort of carcasses in laminate uh, for kitchens. Um, not that I'm a kitchen cabinet maker; <laughs> I'm just a punter like you guys. But I thought to invest into one of these. I sort of figured it was a good investment. Um, up to then, I've always been ironing and stuff like that. So this is a great unit. So I put some legs on it, and I think I might have shown you it before in previous ones. These are little Teflon uh, pads. You've got a variety of holes. You can screw these pads anywhere you want. And the whole idea is, here's one I prepared earlier. And actually it's pretty hard to probably see, but there it is raw at the moment. It's got to be trimmed off. But the beautiful thing is, when you've got this and you're running it along, this is, these are these little Teflon things elevated up so that you, when you're running along the second part, you're not getting um, this rub, rubbing on the bottom and getting all out of skew. So the best part is it's in this unit. Now this unit, it's just a matter of um, um, I can right, just undo the back here and undo the back there. This can tilt up and down up to, up to 45 degrees. And this just slips in here. Around here, let's see if I can get it. Now I'll see if I can swap the camera around. This is where I usually mess up, I know every time. Um, did that work? No, that didn't work. I'm supposed to be able to flip the damn thing. <laughs> no, it's not gonna flip. All right, so we'll forget about me. All right, so here it is, it's running at the moment. Now, this here is a dial where you dial in, in here up and down when you put your tape in so that it, it, it sort of uh, just grabs the tape and then you back it off a little bit. You've got, 0 point, you've got 0 0.5, 1, 2 and 3 there for the thicknesses of your tape, so you dial that up here. And so basically, as you run your board along here, it runs on this roller and this extra roller here. So I'll actually demonstrate just how easy it actually is. If I've never shown this before, I don't know. I don't know whether I have or not. I suppose Greg's got a relevant point. Um, it's, it's obviously handheld, and I guess you might have seen videos on it being handheld. But um, it's pretty simple. You got a little, you got a little switch under here. If you push that, and you hear the clip beat, that's now on a single speed. And if I push it again, it's now on double speed. So that means when I run through the the, the tape comes on quicker, obviously. Um, 
in, in the settings over here, you're able to set how much glue, how much glue, and um, yeah, it's just basically how much glue and the temperature. So that's all in the, the book and all that, like you would expect in a book. But I'll just show you how easy it is. Now, I've cut, I've cut these on my uh, a combination of my Festool rail um, and my Freud blade, but my Freud and Melamine industrial blade in my uh, table saw. And I can tell you, I don't know if you can see it, but those cuts are absolutely perfect. Right, so you can see the cut, it's pretty hard to see, but the cut's absolutely perfect. All right, so what you do, is you get a bit of the tape. Now, I've got, just for the purposes, I've got one millimeter ABS edging. This is the, this is the best, simply because it's, uh, you can get two millimeter, I've got two millimeter, but, um, Two millimeters for really robust. This is only just for keeping inside of a kitchen cabinet, and this is a lot better than your iron on stuff. It's a lot more durable. So basically, you just cut it, allowing a couple of inches up off one end and about an inch and a half off the other. I've got a pair of these great little cutters. I really like them. They're from uh, they're flush cut from Fast Cap. I got them from Timbercon. They're really good. They cut this stuff really good. You can just sort of snip it off, and you can cut it when you get to the end. But I've got uh, better cutters for that. So it's just a matter of, this is the inside of the tape here, just a matter of feeding it in here, one little quick push, and you feel it grab, and that's it. Now it's grabbed into the system. Now I need another coffee break. Okay, so now it's real simple. I'll take off this tape. This, I only, on my things when I'm making stuff, I actually, I just have put on this blue tape and, and say what I've got to, what's it for, the size of what I'm cutting. Now, I'll get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. It's a matter to push, push it up against here and push it up against there. Push the button and watch the magic happen. It comes gliding out, just push it along, just ease it along. You can see the glue being wrapped onto the unit automatically cuts off and here that's you can see the glue there that's the glue that's been put on slightly tacky at the moment it feels a little bit warm but that's it it's done it's stuck and <coughs> it's stuck real good too you can pull it off when you've made a mistake which I have done at time to time so all in all um, it's a great unit. Yes, it is expensive, but there's nothing else like it on the market as good as it. Uh, this is this is equivalent of a fifty thousand dollar machine. Um, uh, for what a lot of guys have sort of said, and what the versatility, the few mere fact that you can do it handheld on a very large thing and run it around. I'm not going to demonstrate that today, simply because I'm working on another project and I really don't have the time to do it. But when I got it out on a handheld, I'll, I'll show you. But I find this bench is awesome. Now I bought the bench because it had all the bits and pieces with it. It's all already cut out. I look, I know I could have made it myself and all that sort of stuff, but who can be bothered? I bought, I, so I bought that. Yeah, I've got some extra Teflon. Uh, I've got some extra ones. Um, got the unit itself, and it comes, and you, and you buy it in a two-pack a two uh, situation. But you know, it just runs along. You, you, you look, at, you can see your cats, you can see your, um, your pucks when they're getting down. They do last a while. They tell you on top of it here, I can, I've can. i got enough glue in it at the moment to do 18.7 meters based on the amount of glue that I've got set uh, to it. Any of the excess glue gets pushed down into a little rubber cup at the bottom, which you just simply take off and just peel it out. It's a sort of silicon cup. But there's really not that much um, to it. It's just it's pretty damn simple. I'll, I'll also, on the back down here, which you can't see is a um, is a hose outlet where you can actually fit it up to your dusty if you feel it's a bit smelly. But I've got an open air workshop here with uh, one side of the workshop open, so it's not an issue for me. But I guess maybe if you was inside a house or something, if you was inside the house, you might find that well, it might be a little stinky. It's, well, it's no more than just like hot metal. I'm uh, sorry, hot melt, which is happening on the um, the glue. Um, but yeah. 
I frankly think it's great. Um, you know, when I finish using it, well, I'll sell it. You know, um, you know, I'm sure I'll get most of my money back because they're, they're a lot dearer now. You know, so and it's in perfect condition. It's absolutely in brilliant condition. I've, I've only, uh, I've only used it a few, well, I say a few times on a, on a few small projects. But it doesn't matter. It's a workhorse. It'll it can do it on lots of projects. You know, um, uh, professional guys use them all the time. So that's it. I don't know, Greg, <laughs> if that's as informative as you want. But, you know, I don't know what more I can say about it. It's, uh, they're great, they're expensive, but so is all festival, you know? Um, but it's the best. And uh, I, I actually had a, uh, what do they call it? Um, oh, my goodness, it was another hot, hot um, glue unit, but I didn't like it. It had a tank and it, the glue got, you know, melted into the tank and you'd only get one colour here and get white. Let me tell you, you get an absolutely brilliant finish with white on white. I've been making the carcasses at the moment. You'll probably see one sitting over there on the trolley. Um, all the edging over, it's just brilliant. Um, and it really comes to light when you can buy the non-glued edging and glue it with the glue that you want. So, uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, of course I would. It's, it's great. All right, guys, well, uh, now I'm, I'm on the next video. I'm going to show you some new saw blades I bought from um, Axminster in, in England. I thought I'd give them a try. I read a bit of a thing about them with some of the guys, and they all reckon they're great. You know what? I just cut some laminate before. Let's see if I can show you it. Now, on my, I cut this on my Capex, and, and, this, and I cut this. You can probably see. I cut that with the new blade from Excalibur and there is not one tiny, tiny bit of chip out in any kind of way. It's a great blade. It's absolutely fantastic. It was 150 bucks landed. It was 150 bucks landed in Australia. Um, oh, I've got some other blades. I've got a couple of ones for my um, uh, TS55 as well. I thought I'd give them a try. Least of all, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm not a fan of the, uh, the Festival Blades. I've got the Festival Blades, I've got all the Festival Blades. Um, and uh, I find that um, some of these aftermarket ones are actually better, they're quieter, uh, they cut really good, really sharp, really um, um, no problem at all. So, um, yeah, I'll do a little bit of review on that later. Oh, and I'll just show you the little toy that I bought. Absolutely, I never think about these things. As you know, I do this on the run. Okay, this came in today. And this is my fabulous flat sole. It's a, it's a flat sole spoke shave by NT Gordon and Co. Handmade. It's a ripper. Have a look at this baby. Look at that. Look at that brass. Look at that. I mean, it I can really, you know, I can feel it. Substantial weight. It's so simple. Um, you just got your blade, and you can just little dials, and you just tap it in, bring it back for it, and it's sharp as I can feel the sharpness of it. And it's a ripper. I just love it. I mean, I've got another. I've got a H and T Gordon spoke shape. Uh, sorry, a spoke. Uh, how about I've got. H&T Gordon plane. That's what I got. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Steve's festival shed, talking about stuff. Probably not so much. Yeah, festival. Yeah, I've talked about the the Conturo. That's probably festival. <laughs> of course it is. Anyway, I put it in the plastic bag because the plastic bag stops it from um, you know uh, degrading or tarnishing or whatever you want to call it. Because living down by the sea you get the sea air and it's a bit of brutal with the, um, the salt. I know, I have to keep hosing it off my cars all the time. So I'll do a little review on that uh, later. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so, well, I'm gonna get back to it, finishing off my daughter's kitchen, um, playing cabinet maker. <laughs> I do prefer working in wood, I must say, as we, I suppose we all do, but you know, 
You can't beat the laminate for the cupboards, <laughs> for inside, well, inside the cupboards in particular. I would have preferred to have done timber doors, but she wanted uh, laminate doors, so that's that's fair enough. I'm trying to help her out. Okay, all right, guys. Well, um, anything you can think of that you want to talk about or see or anything, give us a yell. Um, as I've always said, I'm sure to have it. If I don't have it, I'll probably get it. <laughs> okay, on that note, see you later.